Hello, David. <laughs> Our session's not until the morning. I know, I just... Have you seen Sid? Have I seen her? No. But it is a locked ward. She shouldn't be too I hard to find. I've looked everywhere. Sid. Please. I'm starting to wonder if she's really the right girl for you. What, what do you... We're in love. Do you know what love is? A chemical. Electrons. In your brain, sending signals. Are you familiar with Ophiocordyceps unilateralis? It's a fungus that infects ants. It's amazing, really. The spores take over their central nervous systems and force them to climb to a high point, and then the fungus begins to grow up, bursting from the tops of their heads like a branch. And it kills them, of course. Also, it can spray new spores over the jungle Affecting more ants. When people say love, that's what I think of. Uh, simple, I haven't seen it was all I had. Tell me, what is the point of all this love? All the striving, the friendships. I mean, what is the point of babies? You mean life? Yes, life. What is the point of life? All of you running around, trying to what? Be happy? Fulfilled? You tell me. I'll say this. There's only one being in the vast multiplicity of space that matters. God. And do you know why God matters? Power. <laughs> that is the point of what you call life. The only point. Power. Walter understands. I knew your father. Did you know that? My... Your real father. The guy that gave you away? I know. Boo-hoo. Talk about an asshole. Always acting so holy and then gives away his only son. Stop. Stop. He thought he could hide you from me. But he was wrong. I found you. Such a sweet little baby. And me, your very own walking, talking fungus. What do you think of that? I'm trying to help you, kid. Come on. Man, you have so much potential. You're much more powerful than I ever imagined. I mean, I figured I'd just poison you and move on, but then I thought, our powers together, man, that'll... a cocktail! Shit, we could give God a run for his money, right? But then, all this love bullshit. I'm beginning to think I have to go it alone. Do you know what happens to you in this scenario? Talk to her. Please. Lenny. Come on, we've known each other since the womb. What did you do to Sid? Oh, shut up. I've tried making uh, you comfortable. I let you have your friends, your woman. Uh, the fact is, it's too much work. And honestly, all I need from you is your body. Uh, <laughs> your mind, well, I could give a shit about your mind.